from Eric. Sales report? If you can call it that. Things will pick up. That's what you said before Christmas. You know what? Never mind. I don't want to argue with you. I don't even want to be in the same room with you. If you have something to say, say it. You certainly didn't hold back yesterday. I was just as upset as everybody else when Ridge didn't return for the holidays. But seeing that, he's exactly where he needs to be. He should have been home with his family. He needs to be on the road, cleaning up your mess. And if Taylor wants to be upset with anybody for his absence, she should blame you. Ridge is overreacting, and so are you. This collection needs help. <sighs> New lines rarely meet with immediate success. I I'm sure that's what Ridge is telling the European buyers, but they're still not buying. So he let his family down for nothing? You should be grateful. He's working day and night to try to add a little panache to a collection of moo-moos. Panache? We'll have all the panache that we need once this new ad campaign takes off. Return to elegance. I think that says it all. It says that we're moving backwards. It says we're getting out of the gutter. With a psychiatrist with zero fashion experience as a spokesmodel. What are you talking about? She has style, elegance. Oh, hold it. Not like our... Former spokes vixen. I think the clients and buyers will agree. There's no comparison. We are through selling underwear. People buy underwear, Stephanie. Even you. It's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> Coming from a woman who doesn't wear any, that doesn't mean very much. You should be ashamed of these sales figures. You should be ashamed if this company goes under because you can't get over your animosity towards me. And what about your feelings for Nick? Don't you think you should be ashamed of those? How many times do I have to tell you? Nothing was going on between me and Nick in the hospital yesterday. The more you deny it, the more I believe it. And the more I am sick of your accusations. Thinking that I would want my daughter to miscarry just so I could be with her husband. That is disgusting. Yes, it is. I thought we were over this, Stephanie. We were going to stop this. We came together at Christmas. You know, one or two moments of decency on your part doesn't make up for all your trashy behavior. I just thank God I got you out of my family. Well, I'm still here. And I will always be in Rich's life. In fact, I was thinking of taking RJ over there tonight when he gets home. Don't you dare! Yeah, we won't be long. Don't you even go over there! I know you're getting a little antsy because you haven't had a man in your bed for a few weeks, but Ridge is off limits. First you accuse me of going after Nick, and now it's Ridge? Can't you accept the fact that I'm happy alone? Unlike Taylor, you need a man to make you feel good about yourself. Unlike you or your angelic daughter-in-law, I never claimed to be perfect, Stephanie. Oh, I wish I'd been perfect. Then I would have been able to get rid of you. I'll admit, I've made some mistakes. Certainly can't deny it. But so have you. We're only human. You know, that's such a cop-out. <laughs> but cop-outs are your specialty, aren't they? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know how that happened. I don't know what came over me. Taylor would never say that. Taylor would never place herself in a situation where she had to. That is why she's the new face of Forrester. Virtue doesn't sell dresses. It inspires respect and admiration. Oh, please. Like she would never wreck a home or destroy a family. Look what she did to mine. Yours? You weren't legally married to Ridge. He was her husband. She wanted a life with her husband. And she wasn't going to let anything or anyone interfere with that. And she never will. Taylor wanted Rich, and she got him. You don't think that's selfish? I think he chose her because she's everything that you're not. You know what? The issue isn't even Taylor. It's you and your obsessive need to belittle me. It's destroying this family, and it's destroying the company. You're so concerned. Why don't you leave? For the same reason Rich didn't come home for Christmas. Somebody had to stop you from dismantling this company that Rich, Eric, and I worked so hard to build. What, do you think that I don't care about my children's legacy? Do you think that Taylor and Thorne and I don't want the collection to succeed? I think that you're in way over your heads. 
And you need the professionals to take over. Oh, well, let me tell you, Taylor is more of a professional than you have ever been. You gave her this job, Stephanie. The same way you gave her your son when you faked that heart attack. Because she deserved him and you didn't. She has always kept her vows. You know, Taylor is twice the woman that you are. She's always been a very loyal friend, devoted wife, and wonderful mother. She's not a robot, Stephanie. She could slip up like anybody else. You'd like that, wouldn't you? The only way that you can improve your sense of self-esteem is to try and diminish someone else. I'm just saying. I know what you're saying. You are jealous. She has brought class back to this company, stability to the family. She is an example for her children. You're never going to see Taylor on the cover of some tabloid in the supermarket. She is a woman of unimpeachable integrity. <laughs>